Crime Family, welcome back to the channel. I just cleaned up my background because a few seconds ago it was a mess. I am on vacation this week and I have been filming every single day. Which, speaking of filming, let me know down in the comments below. Tomorrow I want to upload a tutorial. I just don't know what to upload. So let me know if you want to see farmhouse decor tomorrow or if you want to see a crate tutorial. I'm going to put a poll up for you guys. I don't know if it's on this side or this side, but it should be like a little eye that you see and if you put your mouse over it or if you're on a phone tap it a poll will come down let me know what you want to see again farmhouse decor or a crate like furniture type of DIY whichever gets the most votes by the end of today I will have a tutorial up for that tomorrow so today I got a Dollar Tree haul for you guys now most of the items I bought this week are actually like beauty items Dollar Tree lately has gotten lots of new health and beauty items in so I'm gonna start off with the makeup that I purchased this week which is what I was most excited to find a couple of weeks back I purchased is an LA Lip Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick and I really really like the color. So after purchasing this lipstick and liking it a lot I decided to go back to Dollar Tree and try to purchase some of the other colors I saw initially but when I went back I couldn't find them at all. This week I went to a different Dollar Tree and was able to find more of the colors, pretty much all of the colors. I didn't buy all the colors, but I bought the other three that look like something I would wear. So the first one I got is this deep purple color called Date Night. Really pretty. The color payoff of all of these is really nice. It's just that, like I said, it's drying on the lips, so make sure you add some chapstick to your lips before applying this and exfoliating your lips. That'll help this not make your lips dry as much. The next color I got is this pink color, and it is called Kiss Kiss. It's similar to the Kiss and don't tell one except it's pinker than that one and then the last one I got is called in the mood and it's a deep red color really really pretty if you're into deep reds another thing I do like about these liquid lipsticks is the packaging the packaging is just very sleek and it's a nice quality so I don't know it just looks nice like especially if you have a nice little vanity set up these look really nice in the vanity you know speaking of makeup I uploaded a video a couple of days ago not many people saw it and it had lots of thumbs down but you know I don't think people are used to me uploading videos on my channel that aren't Dollar Tree related or tutorials so you know I plan on doing more videos like the one I uploaded even if it got a bunch of thumbs down because Something that would happen on my other channel is like all I kept doing was uploading tutorials and tutorials and I feel like your personality gets lost and people don't subscribe to your channel for you anymore. They just kind of subscribe for what you're putting out and I don't know it just feels like you're a robot and people don't know who you are and you just lose yourself in that so that I don't want that to happen on this channel. I want there to be fun videos thrown here and there because I just don't want to be a pair of hands making something so even if I got a bunch of thumbs down on that video because people aren't used to that type of stuff it's okay I'm gonna continue to do that. But the reason I brought that up is because I tried doing the first ever makeup tutorial on YouTube and it was not what I expected. I thought it was going to be something wearable wasn't wearable at all and I got a few comments from people telling me to stick to doing um, tutorials making things and not makeup and I'm like you need to check out my other channel because I I'm not gonna say I'm the best at makeup but I'm pretty darn good at it like I'm not even wearing clothes this is paint so please don't tell me to stick to making things because I'm very proud of my makeup so this along with what I'm gonna show you they were pretty like neck and neck for my favorite thing I found this week at Dollar Tree. And that was some more Kiss Gel Nail Polishes. I'm a big fan of the Kiss Gel Nail Polishes. I like that they dry quickly. I like the color payoff on them. I really like these. I know there's some people out there who don't. And I feel like people who don't are... They're more familiar with nail polishes. They're more familiar with high-end nail polishes and probably tend to get like manicures often, which I don't do. I work way too much with my hands to get manicures. I freaking have paint on my hands right now. Guys, I always get like sidetracked. But anyways, I got four new colors. There was a bunch of other colors and they're like spring colors. Definitely spring colors. So the first nail polish I got is this pink that is totally like a Barbie pink. Like straight up, the Barbie sign kind of reminds me of that. And it's called Faith. Tote. Next color I got is this purple color and it's called Manny Corn. So it's like a unicorn and a Manny. It's play on words right there. Really cute. This next color, which is my fave out of the bunch, is this pastel pink color called Dream Fit. I really, really love like light pastel pink nail polishes and nude nail polishes. This last nail polish I got is a very fun color nail polish. I can see a lot of people liking this though just because it's a very pretty color that you don't see too often and it's called peach sorbet so yeah I got these four really pretty and then there were some other colors but like I said I passed on those I do want to say right now Dollar Tree does have a lot of LA colors 
makeup so if you're looking for inexpensive makeup you can check them out i don't know the color payoff on like the eyeshadows they got or um what's the other stuff like all the mascaras that they got in like how well they work but i did take some footage and i'm showing that to you guys right now just so you can see that there's some other products there right now that you can get but i really like the liquid lipsticks i did buy an eyeliner the other haul a couple weeks back and then i bought some mascara, which I do like the mascara. Now another item I bought a couple of weeks back from LA Colors was one of their color bombs. I went back and purchased another color. This one is in raspberry. The first one I got was in bubblegum and had like a pink packaging. And in that video, I said that this was a square. And I uploaded the video and I didn't catch myself saying that I just had a brain fart. Don't tell me you never did that before too, or you're just kind of like half asleep and you're like, oh yeah. It's a square and it's like a circle or something. But anyways, no, it has a triangular shape. I really, really like the packaging of this thing. And even the um, product in the inside looks like a little triangle. So this one, it does smell like a raspberry. It kind of smells actually, wait, a little bit more like cherry. Now, I'm not going to put this on my lips right now because I already have something on my lips. I know I won't be able to see it. But the color payoff of the bubblegum one is just a very, very, very light pink. It looks more so just like the gloss look that you get from chapstick more than there is color payoff like look at this right here it looks so pretty and it was only nine dollars for all of this like you're not gonna pay nine dollars for four nail polishes four liquid lipsticks and a lip balm wait wait maybe you can like a dollar general and stuff i think they have the la colors items for a dollar there but the kiss gel Nail polishes, no, because I've seen these things in Walgreens and they don't retail for a dollar there. I was so happy to see this next item at Dollar Tree. It's some hanging vases. It has the, is it jute twine? I don't know. Anyway, or rope, nautical rope, I don't know. Anyways, I would go nautical rope because this that's the name of like the rope you can buy from Dollar Tree on its own. So it has nautical rope tied at the top and it hangs. I've never seen any hanging vases from Dollar Tree. So I was happy to find this. You guys know me if you watched my channel last year. I love nautical decor. I love beach decor. And then for the farmhouse decor, when I do upload that video, I feel like this would be something great that you can use for a DIY. Or even nice if you're getting married outside and you want things like hanging off of the trees. I bought four of them total. I don't know where you would find this for a dollar. So yeah, great buy. This next item is a repeat buy for me. I bought this last year around Easter time at Dollar Tree, but I tossed them when I moved. And it's just these salt and pepper shakers that look like little chickadees. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. They also have bunny ones. I was tempted to get the bunny ones, but then I was like, I, you know, that's too many salt and pepper shakers. I'm not going to use all of them. So here they are right here. They're just so adorable. Like, oh my gosh. This is Bonnie and this is Clyde. Now on to the final item I purchased this week at Dollar Tree. I bought a couple of books from Dollar Tree and I bought them for DIY. I know some people aren't the biggest fan of others using books to DIY. I have nothing against it. Lots of times you can read books online and it's like you're still using it. It's not like you're just tossing the book away. So I bought The Factory Man by Beth Macy. I bought two of them. I didn't buy them because I really plan on reading them. I mean, I could if I wanted to. It says there's 451 pages and this is about how one furniture maker battled offshoring, stayed local, and helped save an American town. So if you're interested in reading about that, you can go to Dollar Tree, pick up this book, and read it if you want to. But I bought it specifically for the outside of it and the color. I like the color of it. So that is it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to end my hauls with a question, and bravo to you guys. Honestly, we had the most comments in any of my Dollar Tree hauls last week. I had so many comments answering the question that was at the end of the video. So the question was, which would you choose? Number one was get eight hours of uninterrupted sleep every night. Number two was your house cleans itself. Three, your kids eat everything you serve them without complaining. And four, someone runs all of your errands. And pretty much every single comment I got, it was like nine out of 10 comments wanted their house to clean itself. I got so many comments with that. A house that cleans itself kind of reminds me of that movie Smart House on Disney. You would think that technology would have been that far by now. Like I really thought when I was younger in second grade, I remember thinking about the future and thinking of like 2020 and thinking that we would be flying by now and like flying cars and that's yet to happen. But I'm kind of thankful because you know what? Can you imagine flying cars 
we would all be probably like hitting each other. So for this week's question, there's another thing that I saw on Facebook. I like getting my questions from Facebook sometimes because I see them and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Basically, it's a map, okay? And it just says America the Beautiful and it just shows like the states and what the states are known for. So Nightmare Tornado Zone. I live in the Nightmare Tornado Zone. So let me know where you're located based off of what it says. Do you live like in California? and it would be on fire. Do you live like in Wisconsin, the snow covered moonscape? If you live in Georgia, air made of hot soup. So let me know where you live down in the comments below. Please nobody put your actual address because people on the internet can be real creepy sometimes. Not to say you're creepy, but there's creepy people out there. So that's it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. Don't forget to vote for what tutorial you want to see tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Take care. Bye! Vacation all I ever wanted Vacation had to get away Vacation meant to be spent alone Y'all, I wanna quit my job so I can be on forever vacation Bye!